Hi everyone, welcome back to Call of the Sea. What a beautiful scene. Um, we're here with the thing me Bob. With the thing we do do da. Doing some stuff. Oh look, that's actually got 360 degrees marked on it. Maybe we, we need to get that compass bearing or something? I have no idea. Um, if we refer to the notes, we got this puzzle, we got these tiki's and... Oh, hang on a minute. We've got this tiki. It's not a tiki, is it? It's this symbol here. Does this have a tiki outside? No, it doesn't. Do we have to create this tiki? And it's got like a. Almost like a. Uh, what do you call it? Leaf crown type thing on the top? Do we have one with the leaf crown? That one? Perhaps? Because he said they're all family related, so if we go for those kind of eyes... Um, no, it's not quite that one, is it? No. Is it those eyes? I think it's those eyes. With the little thing there, and then not that mouth, not that mouth, that mouth. And then the hands down by the sides. Well, that didn't do anything. Ah, is the hair right? Hang on. No, the hair's wrong. Or the top of it's wrong. It's those. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Well, nothing's hap... Hang on, is there a yellow thing there? Has that gone yellow there? Am I imagining that? Was that there before? Right, let's get that up there then. Um, yeah. Ah, okay. Oh! That could have been maybe just a... Ah, here we go. I think we've sussed it. Okay, maybe we need to get those other ones slightly bigger. Mm, no, not quite. That's done something. I'm not entirely sure what we've done. Maybe we just need to reduce these slightly. Get a more pronounced signal. I don't know. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works or what to do with it. Do I now need to put the other tiki tiki family symbols on there and see what they do? Should we do this this happy chappy? I'm not sure. Let's try another one. Uh, so we'll go for this one. He's got circles on his head. And he's got the kind of like the steampunk glasses. And then he's got happy smiley teeth and crossed arms. Yeah, I think I might have just made it up with that. Go across. Go on. Slide across. Oh. oh my god, it's so tender. There we go. 
Um. Oh. Close that as well. Okay, we're almost off the scale. Can't do it there. No. Right. Um. Feels like I've got, I think, half of the. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works. No. Or what to do with it? So let's go back I'm not really to this. Sure how this thingamajig works. Oh, what to do with it? Black dudes, right. So we're definitely creating a lens for the telescope. It's probably so simple compared to what we're actually doing. Are these the clues? Okay. Let's reset that. Um, I've got this yellow patch here that's still there. So if I go up, we'll try the first one first, uh, which will be there. Which is like a, a three staggered, like. Like that. That doesn't seem to be working. Right. I'm not so really that was sure how this thingamajig works. That was. Oh, hang on. What no, no, no. The different sizes. So one, two, probably three. Okay. Let's go back. So let's reduce that to one. One. Uh, the one over here. Probably gonna be a bit bigger. And the one over here will be bigger still. Okay, let's give that a little nudge. Let's give that a nudge down. Oh hell, one 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 one. No, that's not it. Okay, reset. I'm not so really I don't think it's, sure how this thingamajig works. I don't think it's that one. We could try this one. Which is two. Oh, is that a third one there? Look. Okay. Let me just have another I'm look at really that. Not really sure how this thingamajig works. Lovely. We'll do this one: what small and it? two mediums. So it's small. How it is? I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works. Oh, no, it's got to go down, it? isn't it? Um. I'm not no. really sure how this thingamajig works, or what to do with it. Jeepers, a stranded ship. Yeah, we've already seen that. Don't be too excited. I wonder if we, there's anything on here we've got to line the masts, maybe. And the funnel. Any marks on there? Jeepers, a stranded ship. Anything in the notes? I suppose we could continue with the, um, the tiki. See if we can get a, a, something to react here. Those two haven't done anything. We go for this other, the other character here with the um, zigzag. That that one. 
he's got the he's got long straight nose. Yep, yeah. and he's got the angry face. That one, and then he's got uh, two little shields. Nope, nothing seems to have happened. Last one then. Um, he's got the squinty eyes. Sticking out his tongue. And the curly. Yeah, who knows. Do we actually need to physically go and have a look to see if there's so there's the um the key there. Anything in the rocks? I seem to have fallen I oh, know. Sorry, I just got stuck on a rock. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought I was in this slow process of falling down the cliff. No, so there's that. Which is obviously you can see that symbol there. Right, okay, we got we're, we're having no luck with that. No luck with that. Let's continue to explore and see if um we finding more clues. Harry hated asking his parents for money to fund this expedition. The Everhards are a wealthy Boston family, quite old fashioned. They were never really pleased with his eldest marrying a middle class girl. That's why he wanted to get away from them as soon as he could. Just like his siblings did after him. Right. There's got to be more clues. The fact that the um, audio played there suggests there are more clues. Ooh, I didn't see it's that. Broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. It's that. Hang on a minute. Each of these huts has got one. Hmm. Something's missing inside that emblem. Ah, there's the it's squid. It's sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? The kraken. Right, so we've got. So that's where the turtle ones come from. Ah, so is this is this the one we need? Well, we put them all in, didn't we? Hang on a minute. This one. That's the turtle one. So we're missing the shark. Where's the shark then? Is it down here? That one's got a tiki, but I don't see the the coat of arms. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we know that tile goes in that one most likely. Yes. Yes, look, so that's got the three mm, huts. Something's missing inside that emblem. They got the three huts on his hat. Is, is that how it works? This one's got Yes, this one's got this kind of decoration and that's got that kind of decoration on his top hat. The top part. Yeah, and kind of you got that kind of symbol there. Which is kind of that symbol there. In this kind of a squint, if you don't look at it too closely. Okay. So does that mean we've got to get that tile with the turtle on it into that? Um. What's we call it? Coat of arms, or or
Family symbols, yes. Order the symbols is important. Connection with each tiki, different sea creatures. Okay. So we're going to go back for this one, aren't we, with the three huts. Um, painted in eyes. That mouth and the hands. Hmm. No. What am I missing? Or is it the case that we've the only one we haven't seen so far is the the shark one. So this one has got to be the shark one, hasn't it? The shark fins maybe. Does that make sense? I am doing it to the right point, isn't it? It's supposed to be to that point there. I think so. Okay, let's try the shark one then. Although we put these in before and nothing seems to have come of them. Ah, yeah, so that must be like the sea. And then you get the crazy eyes, the shark teeth, and the shark fins. <laughs> okay, I thought I found something then, but clearly I hadn't. Oh, it's a butterfly. I thought it was like a clue or something. Um, well. Be clues. There must be clues. So that, that we need to find that fourth symbol. If you can't find that fourth symbol, then I don't know. It's not here, but there's not a house here. So these these are these are family houses, aren't they? So we've got one there, we've got one there, we've got one there. So it's got to be on these medical huts down here. This is where the fourth family would have lived, right? Oh, there it is. They use the emblem as a headstone for Roy's grave. This one resembles a shark. There it is. Okay, so that's that one. That's that one. That's... Oh, hang on. So do we need to... The top bit is the turtle one. The second... Oh, hang on. I think I might have just sorted it. It's all just sunk into place. I think I might I know the answer. So it's it's an amalgamation of all the tiki's from each different family member and you just need to know the order. So it's going to be turtle, dragon thing, shark and um octopus. Ah ha ha, we might have a clue to answer. Right, hang on. Oh sorry. It's going to go um turtle Turtle shark. Is that uh, that's probably like a stingray, isn't it? Um, and octopus. So okay, I think we got this now. So turtle is going to be the huts. Then shark is going to be the crazy eyes, which we've got. Stingray, which is going to be the tongue out. And octopus or kraken, which is going to be the uh, tentacles. Oh, there we go. There we go.
Ooh. It's Cthulhu. What kind of stone is this? I've never oh, seen any substance quite like it. It's the elevated stone. Is that the black goo? Disturbing. Take that. Impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? It's Cthulhu. Okay. So, now I think we can go to the elevator. I have no idea about that yet, but let's go to the elevator and see if we can get that done. Oh, finally we're making some progress. Oh, I thought we were going to be stuck for a while then. Going up. Bing bong. Oh, oh my. It's gotta be aliens now, isn't it? Oh, oh look at this. What happened here? Dynamite, probably. Oh, well, a bit of a fire. We'll go methodical from this side. Poison. Erythrocytes. Aren't those red blood cells? Undefined substance pulsating affecting erythrocytes. Is this the curse or the disease or something? Oh. Is this a picture of my hand? Wow. It looks like something like the Wicked Witch's talons. Those spots look all too familiar. What's it say on it? July... 15th photo of my left hand oh so we've been at this island before Ooh. oh here we go cripes this man was splashed with that black liquid whoever took this picture must have a really cool head yeah what does that say July 17 1934 the spots on my skin are moving. Oh my... Ugh. I can feel them. This is some... Is there someone in the well? I can hear voices at night. In fact, I can swear they're calling my name. And who's playing that music? Oh my goodness. Maybe we're one of the cursed ones. We are one of those people coming back. Skin alterations. Like... Like the ones on my hands. July 15, 1934. Skin alterations appear on my left hand today, similar to uh, angiomas, allergic eczema, cyanosis. Let's hope not. I took some samples of my blood to analyse. Ask for the photo of Everhart's wife's hand. Oh, that was our talons. That black ooze again. July fourteenth, nineteen thirty-four. That imbecile Roy blew the hatch to the sm two smithereens. And blew himself up with it. Oh no. Don't worry Doc. I have Mr. Everhart's okay. I have Mr. Everhart's okay. Okay. Uh, and this <laughs> is just the controlled detonation. Ha. Three feet closer and I would have, wouldn't have been here to tell the story. I got splashed with the black ooze and took me the whole damn evening to clean it off. Okay. So we've been splat with this black, black uh, ooze before. I stand the smell of medical equipment. Reminds me of my illness. Mm. Okay. So what we one of the diseased people? I'd better not touch it. But given what happened, they shouldn't have either. Was all de was all dynamite in there as well? Hopefully they were empty when they caught fire. I was have come up as obviously a ladder there, but let's see if we can get round it. Structure a hatch of some sort. Oh, we can't get to those items. Okay, let's go down the ladder then. Well then, I'm going down. Come on, Nora. Deep breath. Deep breath, Miguel. We can do this. Oh. 
Oh. Is somebody whispering? Hello? Hello? Is anyone down here? <gasps> Look! These are the, the dots where he's trying to make the lens. That's creepy. Sky, it, is it calling to me? Is that the one we've got to do then? There's a puzzle on here. The stars. I can press these star shaped tiles. Okay. Hear whispering. It's weird. I hear it. I'd, I'd better draw it just in case. Oh, the whispering, it. it stopped. Was I imagining all that? So, I reckon these three. Was it that one? No, it was these. It was the the dribbly ones wasn't it with the black ooze they were the ones and hopefully we've got those in our journal ah so we now need to this goes on the lens corrector I think and then that somehow tells us with the telescope which stars to align yes look the fish people are taking the human souls or something They got some sort of dancing group. <laughs> no idea. Maybe he heard the whispers too. Mr. Everhart, the doctor's been acting like the oddball ever since he was splashed with that black ooze. He's got worse after moving to the top of the cliff. Keep an eye on him, Frank. Well, this looks like another job by handyman Harry. Uh, modified to these. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, confirmation that we do need to do that. Rituals. You were close to something here, Harry. Let me see if I can solve it. Other realities. Forgotten civilization, not Polynesian. Clearly not Polynesian. Uh, black ooze used to replicate ritual. Uh, check Tillagast pamphlet. Okay. Easy. Yeah. If this now cap. Oh, it goes back up to the camp. Good. I was expecting this to be spring loaded and send us up there somewhere. Right. So we've got the three um, lens configurations that we need to somehow figure out how to put onto the lens using reading the pamphlet and understanding exactly what we're supposed to be doing. There we go. And hopefully, that'll be another puzzle solved. Right, here we go. On to the nemesis of the puzzle. No wonder we had no chance of understanding what the hell we're doing. Right, let's get this reset. Still not 100% sure. Right, let's go have a read of the pamphlet. And, uh, and we'll pick this up again next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Call of the Sea. I am. This is really got me engrossed now. Time is flying by when we're doing these adventures. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you are, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.